I don't know who the artist is, but they used to do, this was kind of big, big time a long time ago with the cards where the little girl was holding a little um, rose or something and the rose was red and then everything else was black and white. I get this question a lot, so I thought, well, I'll just do it with this photo here because this red reminded me of it. You could take this um, quick selection tool, and there's a couple ways you can do it. You can create a mask out of it, but we haven't talked about masking yet, so let's just do this. I'm just going to make a really quick selection of his red shirt because it was really easy to, to select that red shirt because it is so solid. And I could go in there and zoom in if I need to because it doesn't look like the, the O was selected. So I'm going to go back in there, get my quick selection tool, and make sure that I hold down the shift key to select more. So I selected the shift key and then clicked again. It's not a great selection, but just pretend that it's not bad. We had, um, we can put a little bit of a feather on there. So may, maybe I'll do a little feather. I'll go select feather of maybe two pixels. And let's say I want to do an inverse of that selection. I can go select inverse and now I can change everything that's selected now, everything except for his red shirt, and make that into a black and white. So I can just go to enhance, convert to black and white. That's one of the easiest ways to do it. Let's just kind of look through the styles here. Let's just say scenic landscape or portraits might work. And you can kind of play around with these sliders as well to get the best black and white background. That's way too bad there. See how that looks up there. And once you get that, you click on done and then deselect, and now you have um, a reverse out type of thing. So just wanted to kind of throw that in.